evening, Council. This resolution before you, item 34, will extend until April 26. Interim Council meeting procedures, which were passed in December 2011. They are called Interim Council meeting procedures, although they are the first change to consent agenda participation in 20 years. And with no council members being new to meetings, it is perplexing why that they, they'd be noted as interim rules. Either way, these rules limit how much time individuals before the city council can give testimony on items on the consent agenda. Instead of being allowed three minutes per item, as previously allowed, citizens are now limited to three minutes total to address the entire consent agenda often ranging over 50 to 60 items that are voted upon in one vote. As council members, our elected representatives, you should each be ashamed of your unanimous action taken in December that curtails your own citizens' ability to communicate important and timely information on votes that you're about to take. Drastically limiting Austin Knight's opportunity to speak to your excellencies, this action shows the deaf ear which you consistently turn to your citizens' concerns. Resolution sponsors Spellman and Morrison need to be reminded that your duty as representatives is, is to execute the will of the people, and that entails listening to what we have to say, whether you like the content or not. At a council work session last year, Mayor Leffingwell stated his penchant for favoring special interest testimonies over those of citizens when he said that, we need to protect those who have legitimate business before the council. No, sir, you are entirely wrong here. We as citizens are the legitimate ones. According to our mayor, what we as citizens give as testimony is illegitimate, and the city council is nothing more than a platform where only exclusive interests have weight. I believe voters will reject your view of government that dictates that our voices mean nothing. It is amazing to me the amount of time spent and wasted on the public dollar that these representatives have spent pursuing an agenda of silencing we the people. And this is not only happening in city council, it's happened across the board. We're seeing new rules being imposed dictatorially, whether citizens can have signs at Travis County Commissioner's court meetings, uh, who we can address by their name at Campo Transportation Policy Board meetings, and it is the wrong direction for our country. You are engaging in a sloppy crackdown on citizens with this legislation, and we Austinites reject your tyrannical methods and measures. While your vote may stand today, it will not remain forever. We will take back our counsel, and we will not allow you to overstep your bounds and violate the Constitution. Right, Thank you.